Here we go. Okay. So tell me about what we've got oh, here. Oh, okay. So now I'm nervous because you're doing this. <laughs> Anyway, this is this is the show. This is the show I took to Japan. Okay. It all fits in here, and what I really like is this portability. Mm -hmm. So I can take like a, a show that would cover a huge space, mm -hmm. and uh, that sort of really, for some reason, that really engages. Well, I really like that. I really I like that aspect of it. What I have to do in the space is um, is paint the, a grid around the wall mm -hmm. and then I sort of, and then I nail um, very like finishing nails nail yeah. each of the individual works onto onto this painted grid that I've done so the, the grid sort of frames each work yeah and, pre and presents them that way and I've chosen to do that I was doing these works and then thinking okay how would they be presented should I frame them or whatnot and actually Dawn said well I think they look good without glass in front yeah and I had to agree with him and and then that's tough sometimes and I, I did another work <laughs> at the ACAD um, which was again a sort of a gridded work and I and I, and I and I painted on the wall a or the gallery painted on the wall a grid that then I put the textile works on and I really did like the way that looked yeah. too and the way the light could catch you know the sequins or whatnot so the grid is always white right no no, no. it's a uh, no it isn't white with this one it was it was gray because i've got sort of a, an off white okay here so i had it gray so that it would there was some contrast yeah there and and again it's just it's just a framing device mm -hmm. to present these works on and i've been working on these things for a couple of years they're all like um um uh, Detailing, detailing um, the little things, often the little things that go on in my life. Each figure represents myself. And when I do works, I, I will start by doing very, very simple, fast sketches because I feel that they, they can be transferred into the textile works, which the, most of the line drawing is done with a um, sewing machine. Right. Working with a free form foot. It's so very I can, fast. Too. I can, yeah. And you have to work fast, otherwise it looks stilted and, and too tight. Yeah. And my rubbery arms, we were talking about rubbery arms earlier. Yeah. It's, you know, it's to some, somehow also um, create the, ex, the feeling or the expression that I have. You know, I, you know, you can have your mouth going down or up or whatnot, but the yeah. arms again, the excitement or the or the dismay or the whatever. And um, the sequins, the glitzy stuff, a number of years ago I was in the States and I was um, teaching a, a, doing a workshop in, um, in Chicago. But at some point I sort of walked down through some of the, some of the shops in Chicago and I came upon these Haitian banners okay. that I thought were wonderful. And they were, uh, they were sort of political, but they had these sequins sort mm. of glued on the, not glued, but sewn on the surface yeah. as an overall sort of patterning. And up to then, I turned my nose up at the up at sequins and whatnot, thinking, oh, it's too tacky. But I liked what was going on there. And I thought, well, I'd like to see what I can do in work, works with sort of sequins. Yeah. And actually, my really early works, when I first started doing textiles, I had a lot of embroidery and, and, and what we would call decorative elements yes. in the works. And that was sort of like, um, hmm. over the years, I tried to not refine it, but get away from that and sort of build these bigger, larger works that were bolder and didn't have any of those things, just bolder works. But there was something about this other thing that I really love. <laughs> yeah. So these works sort of explore all those those sort of elements from from things that I had started uh, forty years ago, wow. or was engaged in forty years ago. So it's another celebration of of the tactileness, the embroidery, the the glitzy sort of things. It's nice. It's nice because. Um I've made a lot of canvas stretchers mm -hmm. for students and they always, often I make these oddball sizes and there's these strips of canvas that yeah. get left yeah. aside and I've never yeah. been really sure what to do with them. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, well, you could do yeah. <laughs> miniature works. 